All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So with the LR Hercule Legendary Campaign officially coming to both Global and JP later next week, I decided to do a quick little guide video for all of my newer players out there or maybe some veteran players that just need a quick refresher about how to get him to LR status and also super attack 20 or completely free without using any Elder Kai's. Now, one thing I will say before we jump into it is that the LR Hercule Awakening process is a little bit different from the other LRs we have in this game. Because for most of them, if you put in the time, you can actually get them done in like one day, right? Like some of them might take you know, six, seven, eight hours. But if you just put in the effort, you could get it done in theory in one day. But for Hercule, it's a little bit different because you can't actually farm his medals. You have to buy them from the Baba shop. So this is going to be uh, quite a long process, but um, you know, in the end, you will get him done. All right. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And of course, this is the form that Hercule initially starts in the SR Hercule from the friend summon banner. And uh, the first thing you want to do is actually acquire 24 copies of this guy. There is a chance that they're going to do the same thing as they did with the LR Androids campaign, where you can actually get quite a few copies through missions once the Legendary campaign starts. I think for the Androids, it was 14 copies through missions. So if it's going to be the same thing with Hercule, then maybe you want to wait until the campaign actually starts to get started on this, since, you know, that way you can save quite a few friend points, right? But uh, either way, you have to get 24 copies if you want to do a bunch of friend summons and get those 24 copies. You can do it that way if you want to wait until the campaign starts to get some from most likely missions. You can also wait a little bit, right? But 24 copies is what you need to get him to super attack 20 without using any Kai's. And the reason you need so many is because you actually have to awaken two separate copies of the LR Hercule. The first one's going to be your main one that you get to super attack 10, open up all the dupe paths, and feed in the orbs to rainbow him. And the second one is just gonna be super attack 10 with no paths open because that's gonna be your super attack fodder to feed into your main Hercule to get him to super attack 20. Hopefully everything still makes sense at this point. If you guys have any questions throughout the video, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to get to it or maybe somebody else that's also knowledgeable about the game and uh, answer your questions. Okay, so anyways, once you have your 24 copies of the SR Hercule, you wanna start by getting two of them to super attack 10. Of course, to do that, you just gotta directly feed in the other copies of the SR Her Hercules into the ones that you choose as your main one and the side super attack fodder one. So you have two Hercules now at super attack 10, but at this point in time, you can't actually feed in any dupes into the hidden potential system because only UR status or higher units have hidden potential systems, right? So right now you should have two SR Hercules at super attack 10 each. You wanna awaken them to SSR status and then Dokkan awaken both of them to this Hercule right here and it costs 10 of the championship uh, belt medals to awaken each of them. So right now you're spending 20 of the championship belt medals to awaken both of these Super Attack 10 Hercules, okay? So now you should have two of these SSR Hercules at Super Attack 10, awaken both of them to UR status, and this is when you can feed in the dupes, right? So um, choose one of them to be your main Hercule. Don't forget which one is which because I've made that mistake before and it's uh, really, really annoying, okay? So choose one of them to be the main Hercule. You're gonna rainbow and uh, you can feed in the dupes. But of course, you can't feed in the SR Hercules directly because only identical copies of a unit can be fed into the hidden potential system, right? So what you gotta do now is actually doke and awaken four more copies, your remaining four copies of the SR Hercules into this SSR Hercule to be fed into the hidden potential system so that's going to cost 40 more of the championship belt medals so at this point you've already spent 60 championship belt medals right so that's why i said this is going to be a long process because you can't get that many every day and if you want to do it the free way then this is how you got to do it all right so at this point you should have four copies of this ssr hercule at super attack one 
right? So you don't have to raise their super attack. You don't have to give them anything. It just have to be at SSR status, and then you can feed them into the hidden potential paths of your main Hercule. Okay. Hopefully it still makes sense. Hopefully nobody's lost. So at this point in time, after you do what I just said, you should have one Hercule at UR status with no paths open, and one other Hercule, that's your main one, at Super Attack 10, UR status with all paths open, okay? So from there, you wanna awaken, token awaken, both of these Hercules to this Hercule right here, all right? And it's gonna cost 20 championship belt medals for each of them, so that's 40 more medals. Now we're up to 100 total medals spent, okay? So you have two of these Hercules now, all right, two of these Hercules at Super Attack 10 each, one of them with all paths open. Of course, you can also feed in the orbs at this point if you want to, to rainbow him. And uh, from there, of course, get them to Super Attack, uh, or sorry, level 120 to be finally Doken Awakened to LR Hercule. Now to awaken this Hercule to LR status, it's gonna cost 70 medals each. That's 140 medals for both of them. So that's 240 medals in total spent for this entire process. All right, so both of them are now LR status. And once again, one of them is rainbowed, Super Attack 10. The other one has no paths open at Super Attack 10. And you can level your main one actually to level 150 now. You can max him out if you want to, but definitely leave the other one, the Super Attack Fodder one at level one, because you don't have to actually you know, increase this level to feed him in, so don't waste the training items. And the final step here is to train or feed the fodder Hercule at Super Attack 10 with no paths open into your main Hercule who has all paths open and is rainbowed to get him to Super Attack 20 for free with no Kai's used. One question that I expect people to ask is whether or not Hercule is actually worth awakening and at this point in time, the true answer, like the honest answer, is no. All right, he is very, very bad for an LR. Okay, his leader skill is all types HP and defense plus 100%. His super attack has colossal damage with a rare chance to stun, and his 18 key is mega colossal damage and defense plus 50% for three turns. So that's actually fine, right? The multipliers are fine. That's standard for LRs. But his passive is only great chance of attack plus 20,000 and key plus seven. So key plus seven is good. Like I like that part because he actually can get his, you know, supers off fairly easily. But 20,000 attack really isn't that much and it's also RNG based. So it's 70%, which is pretty high. But you know, sometimes if this doesn't proc, like 30% of the time when this doesn't proc, Hercule literally will have no passive. Okay, so as he is right now in his current form, He's not worth awakening, that's for sure. But of course, if you want the, you know, stones and the Kai's and the orbs from the legendary campaign, then I would say it's worth it for that, right? For the 20 stones, it's definitely worth it. But as far as if he is worth it as a unit, um, definitely not, definitely not. Now there is a chance, there is a chance that they give him an extreme Z awakening when the campaign drops or soon after the legendary campaign drops. In that case, he could become quite good, right? Because they can make him a lot better than he currently is. But without the Extreme Z Awakening in his current form, he's just a bad unit. There's no way around that, all right? So hopefully that answers that question as well. And uh, hopefully, you know, this video helped some people out there who were a little bit unsure about how to go about getting this guy done. And uh, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.